is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about scream 6 in this video here again today talking about sydney prescott and just how the movie can still factor her in in some significance to set up scream 7 which i know is something that many people were speculating on in the past something that many people myself included thought could play a factor into the upcoming movie but after the test screenings have come and gone for the upcoming six movie we now know officially so far anyway because there's still i will say a chance but as of now officially yes i am on the bandwagon of thinking she is not going to be in the movie she will not appear nev campbell unfortunately yes did not manage to ink a secret deal to appear as sydney prescott in this upcoming movie however we know that sydney prescott or we expect at least to have sydney prescott referenced in some capacity so what they could do is use this reference and take it a step further into a cliffhanger of the movie and how it ends to set up her return in Scream 7. So instead of actually physically seeing her, something can go down with Ghostface. I do want to say that this has nothing to do with her appearing. This has nothing to do with Sydney's house appearing. This has nothing to do with Ghostface going to Sydney's house. It has nothing to do with any of the stuff you might have heard in the past as a rumor. This is just simply something I could see them doing that might actually be in line with what they wanted to do originally at the end of Scream 2. So in Scream 6, we know that the Carpenter sisters, again, will be the focus of this upcoming Ghostface spree. Sam and Tara, Tara's away at college. We're in New York. Sam is going with Tara and her friends, Chad and Mindy. And of course, we'll have our new players get, get involved in all of this. Now, it's safe to assume that by the end of it all, after Ghostface is done running amok in New York, the last two people standing, plus a few others, will definitely include the characters of Sam and Tara Carpenter. So we know that there is an aged mask that's being used by Ghostface in this, in this upcoming movie. This aged mask, not only do we have that, we have an iteration of the mask that we saw in the teaser that looks different than the aged mask that we saw in the image that was shared after the teaser dropped. And then we also got a new image from USA Today that looks like it is a completely different mask than the other two masks that we've seen in the past previously. So that is giving an indication to people that we have three killers that will populate in, or that will appear in some capacity in this movie. So here's what I would like to see. Let's say you get told and just shown out up front that yes, there are three killers, but then the movie could end in a way that reveals that there weren't just three killers at play, there were four, but they only revealed three. The fourth person got away and they are gonna take us into the events of Scream 7. Now in my mind, if you've seen some of my videos, I would love to see Scream 7 wrap up this series, wrap up the Carpenter story, wrap up the Prescott story with the character of Leslie Mocker, have someone brought in to tie up any loose ends, address some of the stuff regarding the exploitation that's been happening since the very first film, and target Sydney, target Gail, target any of the other survivors and any loose ends that always seem to spawn a new Ghostface killing spree and just have Leslie Mocker herself commentate on how the Mockers have suffered ever since that first movie, how no one seems to really care about them, how everybody seems to just blame them when Stu is actually just responsible for his own actions. Leslie could be upset about her own son's death, blaming Sam for that, blaming Sydney for Billy and all of the other antics that led to Stu getting tied up in that which ultimately destroyed their family and their reputation in the town of Woodsboro but I digress so I want to get back to what I want to get into this fourth killer and an ending of how Sydney Prescott can factor into it I would love to see a situation occur where we have the film end in a manner in which Sam and Tara share a sweet moment and let's say that Sam is maybe holding on to something from one holding on to something from the uh, very last final battle with the killer she decides to drop this item on the ground to end the movie and walks off into the future or the unknown future as it stands right now in another happy ending sequence with Tara as they both decide to leave New York they're going to get out of town they're going to move somewhere else they don't need to be in New York the same way they don't need to be in Woodsboro they're just going to pack up and move once again so when she decides to walk away from whatever this item is you can then also tie in another individual walking up into the frame we don't see who this person is but it's someone who has who has the aged ghost face mask in their hand now here's where the here's where the tricky thing comes in. People will be forgetting that during the finale they never saw the aged ghost face mask appear. 
but they did see three killers appear and get revealed. So ultimately, people will just assume at that time, even though the aged mask was never shown, they'll assume that one of those three killers was also the person wearing the aged mask earlier, but they weren't. Again, the minute Sam walks out of her frame and you think that the movie is over, someone else, I would say wearing, wearing black pants and black boots is what we'll see, walks into the frame and they are holding the aged mask in their hand that is all we see from them they pull out their cell phone after walking away into like an alley we still don't see who this person is but again in my mind this is leslie mocker she is walking away into an alley after sam and tara have left she pulls out her cell phone and she's and she phones to call sydney prescott we hear sydney prescott's voice this could be something they either pull from Nev Campbell or something that they have had Nev Campbell come in and do like some voice work in some capacity. This is just how I would have it still tie into Sydney. Sydney could be called. You could have Sydney answer the phone or even this. Like I said before, Sydney doesn't have to appear. You don't even have to hear Sydney. She can just simply call Sydney Prescott and then the movie ends on a cliffhanger like that to let you know as a viewer that going into Scream 7, Sydney Prescott will be very important to whatever they have planned for Scream 7. Now, again, in my mind, this individual who remains anonymous at the end of the movie is Leslie Mocker. People that are in attendance won't know who it is. I, of course, won't know who it is, but I'll already have it said in my mind that this is Leslie Mocker. This is who I would prefer to see wrap up the series. This is who I would prefer to see target Sydney, target Sam, target Tara in Scream 7. And that is how I would like to see this wrapped up. So to end the movie for Scream 6 in a way that ties into Scream 7 and establishes that Sydney will be very important have a final individual walk into a frame after after it appears the movie is about to end after sam walks out of the frame they appear all we see is black pants black boots and the aged mask in their hand revealing that they were a fourth killer the ultimate the ultimate confirmation that they were a fourth killer will be the fact that when they are going to call sydney they pull out the phone and there's blood on their hands they just call sydney prescott and the movie ends with Sydney not answering the phone. That is how it can be done. And that is another exciting way to get people on the edge of their seat and a way to have them look forward to the events of Scream 7. Would you like to see something like this in Scream 6? Why, why not? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.